Hey guys, and in this video, I just want to show you this really, really neat little trick on how you can uh, get control of these color sliders, the actual color of the slider um, outside of the node group. So let's say you were building up a little material here and you had a noise, noise texture here that was controlling your color ramp. And so for this material, let's add in another color here. So we can make three sliders and let's make the middle one uh, like a red. So if we clamp these up, we can start to see our uh, material being made. And so let's say we're finished with our material and now we want to turn it into a node group so that we can uh, edit the properties and use it more easily. So we select our three nodes and press Control G. And in our group input here, we can pass through our vector and let's say we want to scale. But then we get to the color ramp and well, we figure out that we can't pass through these colors of our sliders. Like if we wanted to make this a blue, for instance, well, there's no way to do that outside our node group. Well, that's where this trick comes in handy. Create another color ramp and a mix RGB node, select them and press control G, make them into their own node group. If we just move things around a little bit here so we have some space, what we can do is pass through our factor of our noise texture into this node group. This will be controlling our color ramp here. And then our mix shader will actually have the first two colors that we're using. So we want to copy over this red and put it down the bottom and then change this top value to black. If we have a look at this material and then pass our color ramp through to the factor of this mix shader here, we can start to generate the first layer of our color ramp mixing. So if we, if we compare this what we can see, we have this black dot surrounded by the red. If we have a look at this node here, we also have that black dot surrounded by the red, except we need to clamp these values just a little bit more. Like, I don't know, like that. Okay, now that that's done, we can add in our third color here, which is the white. So we're gonna mix this one, one more time with our white color. So let's make this white real quick. Uh, sorry, there we go. Now we are going to need another color ramp. So let's move that one up. And we're going to be using the color once again as our factor of our mix node. Now let's pass through our noise texture like that. And now we can start to get this white appearing in the places that we want it. And as easy as that, we've recreated this color ramp but using a few more nodes so that we can control the colors of it. So if we can compare this, well, it's a little bit different. We'd have to actually change this value here like that. And so if we compare it again, it's practically the same. You could spend a bit more time going through and fine tuning it if you want to, it's very easy. So once that's done, we can just pass through our colors as easy as this and that. And our third color. I'm going to rename this one to color three so we don't get confused. And now back in this node group, we can delete our original color ramp. Let's move it down and pass it through to our base color. We can rename this to, let's say our color gen, like so. And now let's pass these colors through to our master node group like that. And then we're done. Outside of this node group here, we have our scale, our vector, and our three colors, which we can change, well, as easy as that. I mean, look at that, that's awesome, right? Okay, here's another little tip. Now, let's say we wanna control this white slider here of our color ramp outside of the node group. Let's say in our main node group here, we want a little slider to control that fall off. Well, what we can do is add in another value I'm going to use the roughness of my noise texture as the template. This is because it'll give us a slider between zero and one. So I'm going to add that in and then disconnect it. And now I can rename this to fall off, fall off. Now, if we come out of our node group here and right click on this value, we can copy the data path back in the node group and in our color gen node group, we can then select our white slider, right click on the position value and add a driver. Now this driver needs to be a sum of values. 
then we can change the target type to a single property. Now, if we select our property, it's going to be a material, and our material in this case is called material. Now we can paste in that data path that we just copied and hit update dependencies. As you can see, the value has turned purple, which means it's been linked. So if we come back out into our main node group here, we can see that our fall off value will now control that color ramp slider. This is a super handy thing to know how to do because if you want to build proper node groups, you're probably going to have to control a color ramp at some point. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just thought this would be a super handy trick to teach everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.